Hello you developers, welcome back to the Doing Ideas channel. Today we are going to cover the URL manager. We have two properties that we can use. So let's go to our code and take a look at these two properties. We have a default route property. Currently the default route of this e application is the site index. If you want to change that, you can change it right here by setting the default route property. So site default, right now I don't have a default action in my site controller, so this is going to give a not found error, but still, that is how it works. Next, we have the catch all property, which expects array. So I have asked to catch all requests that are coming to this application to go to site offline. So perfect use case for this is to use of this catch-all is to say that your site is under maintenance and you want to redirect all requests to a maintenance page so to do this it's simple say catch-all property to site offline or something else so let's do that so i'm going to create a public function action offline and i'm going to echo we are okay save that and we are let's test it and it says we are offline okay so moving on we have the url manager so remember that the default route property and the catch-all property should be set in the main config array and the url manager is of course a component so we should include that in the component array. so let's uncomment this out and start let's commit everything else but rather than the enable pretty url so what enable pretty url does is right now we have this ugly hold on let's come in this uh, right now we have this que query string so question mark r equal is there so what enables pretty enable pretty urls do is it eliminates this part so let's uncomment it here and let's eliminate this part and put a slash there and we get this error that is because we have to replace these with slashes as well and we get our registration form so that is what the enable pretty urls do is enough just enable pretty url and pass in the parameter of true not pass actually give it the value of true so that's that next is we want to get rid of the index.php here that's ugly as well to do this we have to do two things actually you have to do three things if you haven't enabled the mod rewrite in your apache server if you have done that then it's only two things so show script name is equal to false we set it to false that is the script name is the index.php next thing we have to do is we have to create a ht access file so I have in the web directory I have ht access file and I have added the uh, strings here so what that does is it remove removes the index.php so if you don't have the rewrite engine on the thing that you have to write in the ht access file just go to my blog and e2 blog and write you can't find it there it's in the article okay so once we do that we can remove the index.php and it will still work like so so that's what we want so our urls are getting prettier and more seo friendly so site contact site index everything is working next we can write rules so let's comment that out and test right now i have asked if you see register if you see something like this the domain name and then you see register if you see that i have asked it asked the application to go to go see user registration register that is where our registration pay form is so i have asked to look into uh, check if this register is entered and if so go to this url so this should work yeah we go to our sign up page so slash register uh, if you don't do that we have to type in user registration register but it's must be much better to have register same way you can have login right now i haven't done that so we will get a not found error so of course what you have to do for the login just write login 
and react to the uh, give the path to the login action okay next we have we can specify we can this is a unique thing this is only for the register uh, url but if you want to have a common thing for example if you have in your application you have posts if you have a, if you have a post controller and you want to go to the index now this is the action that you want but if the user types in post we should direct redirect him to the post index action we can do that so the first we expect a name of a controller so post is going to be the name of the controller and if there is s at the end like so we are going to ask our e application to go to the controller index i hope that is clear i can't give you an example or demonstrate it in my application because i don't have a post or another uh, post or articles or something like that i don't have it in my application right now but i will do i will enable this rule and once we create something i will show you how it works the next thing if we pass in so that means if you type in post that is the controller name plus s then it's going to go to the controller index specified controller and the index if we type post and a number we would like to see this is what it does so the controller name is post and this is the id we would ask it to go to the specific controller the specified controller in this case it is post and go to the view action and it will pass automatically the view action will get the id from here and if you want to go to the post one two three the id one two three you just have to do post slash one two three which will work again i can't demonstrate right now but is it it is pretty simple that is all you have to do okay so those are some of the things that we can do using the url manager there are plenty of other complex things that you can do just go to uh, the documentation guide the routing and url creation and you will learn a more complex uh, ways to handle urls uh, okay so i think that is pretty uh, we covered a lot so i hope this helped uh, now you will have better seo friendly urls in your application thank you for watching and do subscribe hit the like button and do share have a good day take care